there is very little we can do. Scientists shock Yellowstone revelation over human extinction. This is January 9th publication, Express UK by Callum Hoare. He's a geologist, a geophysicist. He's offered a chilling warning over the Yellowstone volcano. It was revealed during a BBC documentary on Yellowstone. Robert Smith is a leading lecturer at the University of Utah. We know that Utah has an observatory very close to Yellowstone, and they're, of course, daily, on daily, every single time an earthquake goes off, they register everything there. So he's there, he's a leading lecturer at the University of Utah who has years of experience in natural disasters, including studying Yellowstone, the supervolcano of Yellowstone located in Yellowstone National Park, erupted three times in history, 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, but the fourth eruption could have dire consequences according to Dr. Smith. He states that during the 2015 BBC documentary titled Supervolcano, how another eruption could prove fatal to humanity. He said, if another eruption was to occur, I think there is little that man can do about it. The biggest thing we can do now is understand them. The last eruption of Yellowstone produced around 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. 2,500 more times. That's how huge it is. Geologists have warned that once a triggering event takes place, an eruption could happen in as little as two weeks. Jacob Lowenstein, the researcher at the U.S. Geological Survey in Vancouver, Washington, detailed the last catastrophic incident may have played out during the same documentary. He said, typically, when these eruptions begin, they begin from a certain event, then they get larger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that formed the last Yellowstone eruption may have taken as little as two weeks. This created an eruptive column so colossal that it covered about 60% of the whole continent of the United States in a thick layer of ash. Now, should the same thing happen, the ground around Yellowstone National Park would start deforming, rising upwards, forming a swarm of earthquakes, then it would follow, the following would be the, the eruption, enormous pyrocastic flows would blast their way across the park. This mixture of ash and lava blebs and superheated gas exceed temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius and can move at speeds of up to 300 miles an hour. They're predicting to spread more than 100 miles out from Yellowstone they would bury the states of Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado in three feet of harmful volcanic ash. If the pyroclastic flow hits anyone, they would possibly die within seconds as the air could heat up to around 300 degrees Celsius. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.